सॉइल वाई इज सॉइल इंपॉर्टेंट प्लांट्स एंड ट्रीज ग्रो इन द सॉइल सॉइल प्रोवाइड्स ऑल द मिनरल्स दैट प्लांट्स नीड टू ग्रो इट ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्ट द रूट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स फ्रॉम एक्सपोजर टू द हॉट रेस ऑफ द सन सॉइल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स शेल्टर टू मेनी एनिमल्स सच एज इंसेक्ट रैट्स एक्सेट्रा दीज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सॉइल Rocks break up to form soil. Big rocks break up to form small stones and then fine grains of soil. This process is called withering. Wind and water are the main agents of withering. They continuously erode the rocks, eventually turning even big rocks into tiny grains of soil. This is however a very slow process. It takes millions of years. for rocks to break down into tiny particles that form the soil soil profile top soil the uppermost layer of the top soil contains particles of clay sand humus and water air is also packed in the space between particles of this layer tiny animals and insects are also found in this layer this layer contains all the important nutrients for growing plants subsoil the second layer is also called the subsoil it is found just beneath the top soil and contains some humus and broken pieces of rocks bedrock the lowermost layer of soil is called the bedrock it is found under the subsoil and mainly consists of large pieces of rock soil erosion sometimes top soil is carried away by wind water or other elements This process is called soil erosion. The fertility of soil is greatly reduced due to soil erosion. The crop yields reduces and farmers suffer. FAO estimates that the global loss of productive land due to soil erosion is 5 to 7 million hectares per year. The factors that are responsible for soil erosion are known as the agents of erosion such as water running water causes the maximum amount of soil erosion when rain falls the running water carries away the top soil with it due to removal of the fertile top soil the land becomes unsuitable for farming wind in deserts and open lands wind causes a lot of soil erosion strong winds blow away the humus rich top soil when this fertile layer of soil is gone new plants cannot grow well in depleted soil indiscriminate felling of trees when trees are cut the soil becomes loose it is then easily carried away by wind and water hence increases soil erosion overgrazing Overgrazing by cattle removes the plant cover from the soil as a result increases soil erosion plowing plowing of hills for cultivation also loosens the soil and increases the risk of erosion by wind soil conservation the protection of soil against erosion is called soil conservation soil can be conserved through several methods planting more trees Plants and trees lessen soil erosion. Their roots prevent water and wind from blowing away the soils. Afforestation is beneficial both in plains and in hilly areas. Avoid leaving the soil bare. Winds blow away the top soil from bare fields, so fields should not be left barren. Between the cropping season, they can be covered with grass. The roots of these plants hold the soil particles together and prevent the soil from being blown away. Terrace farming. This is done in hills. The slope is cut into steps. This reduces the speed of flowing water. The amount of soil lost is less as the soil eroded from one step is deposited on the next step. So terrace farming helps in reducing soil erosion. embankments building embankments along river banks prevent soil erosion the river water is unable to flood the nearby fields soil is thus conserved from erosion through water windbreaks 
Trees or hedges grown along the edges of fields act as shields against strong winds. They prevent the soil from being blown away and thus saved from wind erosion. Now let's recall. Soil sustains life on earth. The three layers of soil are topsoil, subsoil and bedrock. The factors responsible for soil erosion are water, wind and human activities. The method by which soil can be conserved are afforestation, terrace farming, building embankments and by constructing windbreaks such as trees and hedges. Thank you.